Welcome everyone. This is Infinity and this is your new moon tarot and oracle reading for February 11th, 2021. I'm going to tell you right off of the bat that the energies coming through have been that it's very much connected to the portal on the 22nd, the 222 2021 portal. Um, it's like they're one in the same. It's also going back to the um, the new moon in on 11 uh, 11 11, I believe it was, or the or the the November new moon, right around there. Um, <clears throat> so it's a lot of energy coming in for this uh, for this new moon uh, on the eleventh. And we're also in a stellium. It's the Aquarius stellium. We have several planets in Aquarius. Uh, we have the sun. We have Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn. And then, like I said, the moon is um, in Aquarius. We um, actually on the new moon is when the... Um, uh, Sorry, on the new moon, we're in Aquarius. Um, so it's not like it was already there and then it's the new moon, you know what I mean? So it goes into Aquarius on the new moon. And we are currently also in our uh, Stargate. So 2-2 two, two to 2-12 two with our landing day being 2-13. So that new moon right before the end of the stargate, then 11 days, and then we have the 22 portal. So, um, and on top of that, we're in Mercury retrograde. So that is something to, uh, to pay attention to. Uh, and also I wanna mention that if you did not watch the full moon uh, signs, so you would wanna watch your full moon water signs video, because it wasn't just for the full moon, it was for the entire for the entire year, kind of the underlying theme with that first full moon of the year being the, the underlying themes for, for everybody for, uh, for 2021. So if you don't know me, I am Infinity. I'm a psychic physical empath, medical medium. I channel, I, uh, I, facilitate guided astral meditations. I, I am a messenger. I put out a lot of information on medium.com over YouTube and my podcast and on my website and on Instagram. I'm a distance energy healer. I work with dogs and cats. Uh, I mean, dogs, um, dogs, cat animals, I should say, not just dogs. Mostly it's been dogs and cats, but um, birds, whatever, um, wildlife. I'm just going to clear some cards here. Uh, I have a program called the Evolve Now program, and it is about healing uh, on every level, energetically, physically, spiritually, connecting you with your soul and your soul tribe, your, your guides and guardians. And, uh, but mostly it's for clearing and healing the body connecting and grounding with Gaia. And I offer a two hour free uh, consultation over Zoom. And I provide you with also a mini energy clearing. If it were, if that's like, you know, if we get to that point and it looks like that's something that you want to have done and, and all that, I do these mini energy healings in that in that three two hour session. They used to be one hour, but time flies and it's just too much to go over. And then also do the healing for like twenty minutes. So I've made them two hours. So we're just scheduled in for that. So um, go to my website if you're interested. Check out all that I provide. I provide tarot and oracle readings. I provide energy healing for um injuries and surgeries as well as that as that big phase one and phase two kind of takes place over a few days um big healing such thing that i do 
Uh, and that is just to make people, it's to really make you feel better. I get rid of pain. It's really about, and, and if you're, it's really for anybody, mostly empaths and light workers come to me, but it's for anybody, any level, doesn't matter who, who you are, what you do, everybody can use this kind of energetic overhaul cleaning out the way we do grounding the way we do it's really super deep super intense work and then um i also meet with you weekly for a month afterwards um so you're fully supported in your um in your transformation so read testimonials watch videos of my past clients read all about it if you're interested fill out a questionnaire and we will get you started with a consultation with me. Now, we're going, let me explain the, the reading. Uh, we're going to get three Archangel Oracle cards. We're going to get 11 Lightseer Tarot cards. And then we're going to clarify or amplify with our 11 uh wild unknown cards and then we're gonna round it out at the very very end with our three moonology oracle cards now i've already done the one reading that was for the fire signs i just got done doing that a couple hours ago uh just to reiterate these are thematic for the groupings of signs under each element. So this is Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer, the water signs. Um, and each grouping kind of has their own theme of what they're dealing with. And, and so each section of the zodiac is taking um, part of the, the ship, like, you know, the front, the back, the, the right, the, the left, and to, so we can move forward because not everybody can deal with everything at the same time. And there's big things that go on in our lives in different ways and different levels. So the different signs are, are, are have these tasks and assignments to um, take care or deal with certain things within themselves um, for their growth and for the growth of their brothers and sisters. Um, that are also here on these soul missions to help themselves and humanity. And to do that, we need to take care of, of things within ourselves and in our world. Okay, so without further ado, let's get going. So we're going to Call in our guides and guardians. Again, this is the Archangel Oracle. We're going to get three cards here. And three. Okay. First card up. Angel Therapy. With Raphael, actually Raphael is the main archangel that I work with in my healings. Uh, give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens. A bit over. Okay, sorry about that. Um, angel therapy. Let's drop by. So yeah, um, you can choose to. Uh, we have some sacred geometry here. It's really hard to see it. I'm sure. But sacred geometry here. Um. It's really important to work with your guides and your guardians, your angels, your archangels, and ask them for help with your with your life, with your struggles, you know, your worries. Give it to them and let go of of the worry and concern because that's not helping anything. So it's just don't worry. Um, it's 
it just takes practice. All is well. So with Jeremiel, everything is happening exactly as it's supposed to with hidden blessings you will soon understand. So there you go. Um, things are happening as they should. Everything's happening for a reason. Um, and don't let, I'm hearing, don't let doubt get in the way of your forward progress. Don't let any kind of like triggers of fear um that kind of thing and then we have nurture with archangel gabriel uh as you nurture a child you nurture your own inner child both activities are imp important for you right now so it's important to connect with your inner child and connect with any children or babies in your world, if you have nieces or nephews, um, I know it's the pandemic, so it might make it a little bit tricky. However, um, connect anyway, connect and 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 be connected to people that that, that you can be connected to that have, that have children. Um, if you already are connected with children, you have your own children. Start working on your inner child. Start start tapping in with it with the things that really uh made you feel good as a child what were you interested in what did you like what what sparked your creative juices to flow um and allow for the family to come in this is also making me think of the stellium this is gaia this is us and these are the planets that are coming in around us right now to nurture us through our rebirthing that's just a, a thing i keep seeing with this because you have to see gaia as a um gaia as a as a mother the, the mother that she is she is a mother she she She's our mother. She's the mother of our mothers and our mother's 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 mother. And she's our great, our great mother. And um, she knows us through all of our incarnations. And here, here we are in one of the most important ones we've ever had. Not that they all haven't played a part and been very important. Um, but in this one is when like all the all the preparation and the practice and stuff is like today's like this life and after we awaken is really like game day and it's game day every day after that and it's all game day because we're in this new rebirthing new awakening for us and um so it's really cool. Um, just please think about the stellium like that, this beautiful stellium about coming together, about getting more in touch and in tune with yourself. Give your cares and worries to your guides and guardians, to, to those like Raphael. He is the healer, known as the healer. Um, archangel or he's also the one that works with healers so he works with me and um in our healing um our phase two healing and phase one it is actually gaia with us who um comes in and works with us but if you have a headache if you have a stomach ache call in Raphael and ask him to help you with with your pains and and really focus in on his beautiful green green light that he carries it's this emerald green shimmer to it um it's very very beautiful okay let's get into the tarot you guys this is a new deck for me this will be officially the third reading that i've done with it but i was guided to this deck um from a very very 
gifted tarot reader and psychic and um his name is Gareth Hudson. He, his channel is Gareth Hudson Tarot. He was guided to me. And then, um, and then of course I was guided to watch his, his videos and he's very popular. His channel is growing. So please check him out, support his channel, buy his readings. They're on point. Let me just tell you, he was guided to me and then I watched his videos and his videos were on point for me. So it was kind of the opposite of the way that it normally goes. He found me and then his readings were, were really, really like, wow, wow, this is a major message for me. So, um, you know, we meet soul family in all sorts of different ways. And they are just becoming more and more magical as time goes on. So anyhow, please visit his channel. Please um, support him by subscribing, commenting, watching his videos. And of course, if you're so guided, um, get his readings. You can get mine too. Like I said, I do current oracle readings. There's our first card. <laughs> Taking a while. Um, second card we're getting 11 cards 11 cards from the set and then we're going to be getting 11 cards from our wild unknown there's our third and there's our fourth there's our fifth so we're going to have 22 cards total Six, seven, eight, <laughs> turning it over already, nine, that's interesting, that's the four of wands, happy, happy card, look at that. And the four of wands coming out open. I mean, already out. So that's nine. We have two more cards coming out. We have 10. We're showing you 10 all, already. This is weird the way this is coming out. Ace of wands, or sorry, ace of swords. And he, here is 11. Ten of cups. What a great card. For that card number 11. All righty. Wow. Interesting. Let's see what our first position card is. Knight of Pentacles. Whoa. Knight of Pentacles coming out in that first position. Second card here. Five of Pentacles in reverse. And King of Wands in your third position. Okay, fourth card, Ten of Wands. And fifth card, Knight of Wands in reverse. Sixth card is the Six of, whoa. <laughs> is the six of pentacles is that just in reverse though i think it came out in reverse and well maybe it's supposed to be right side up and that's why it slipped out of my hand yep i'm thinking this is supposed to be right side up okay there we go right side up six of pentacles seventh card the hermit in reverse this is the ninth card in the major arcana and our Eighth card, seven of pentacles in reverse. Why am I having such a there we go? And let's see it right side up. Okay. 
I'm feeling dreams with this. Got some actual like in dream time there. So let me just take a second to take this all in. Okay. A lot of pentacles. A lot, a lot, a lot of pentacles, water. In fact, the only water card we have here is our ten of cups. And it is, I would say, probably aside from the ace of cups, the ten of cups, uh, besides the, you know, the trump cards would be, yeah, that ten of cups is super powerful energy. And it's in our 11th spot. I love that energy. So, you know, I'm gonna pause this for a second. And I'm gonna raise, it just occurred to me, I don't know why. Not, not until right now, but it occurred to me to take this camera higher. So I'm gonna pause this. Right. All righty, water signs. I'm bummed I didn't think of this for for fire signs, but I think they'll live. <laughs> this is really cool because now you can see the cards a little bit better. I'm working. I'm just working on trying to to set this up. It's different than I've done it before, and I like it. Um, I personally like seeing cards when I'm when I'm looking at it. At reading it's not that I do that that often actually Gareth is the only one that I actually watch um but in the past I used to watch more of other people and um I do like to watch I do like to see cards anyhow um okay so one thing I want to mention you guys is that you'll remember in the water signs um reading that this here that it was about moving and changing either locations where you live where you work the people you hang out with all of it um and and that's what we have here uh with this knight of pentacles and again those full moon readings were the theme of the year. So this, this is, you know, really kind of validating that it's saying, yeah, we're still in this move. Either you have, you're thinking about moving, you just moved, it's pretty recent, um, or it's, it's coming up soon. Um, and again, this can be for your, uh, any of these readings can resonate for any of your, your placements. So your uh, if you're a sun or a or your moon sign is in is a water sign, uh, my moon sign is a water sign. So my my sun and my and my rising are both fire signs. Um, so so any of those where you are with with your with your signs can can resonate with you as far as readings go. But for the water signs, it was about moving and making have, making these changes, finally getting to a point where you're like, we're changing stuff, what we've been through, we've been through certain, uh, certain situations and we're just ready to move on. We've done all that we're supposed to do here or, you know, there's people or, or probably mostly you know, people situations that are a problem that you want to get away from or just, you know, start fresh, that sort of thing. Um, so that was something, you know, coming into this time period and for the whole year, it was like, you know, anytime you move, that's gonna, it's gonna linger, you know, leading up to it, the move and then moving on from the move. <laughs> um, it takes a while to settle in and to have, you know, to, if it's changing jobs or it's actually moving where you live, meeting people, getting used to the location and where everything is. And it's just, it's a, it takes a while. So 
we're someplace in that with with water signs again it could be a group you hang out with it could be going from not having any like any kind of group thing to having a group thing it could be from moving locations moving jobs leaving relationships that could one way or another, there's movement and moving happening with the water signs. Okay. Um, we are looking at coming out of a phase that would, you know, look like this, where you're kind of beat up, you're you're locked up kind of um, maybe just tired physically not feeling good maybe you had a an illness um, maybe you were injured uh, or maybe you were taking care of somebody who was sick or injured, um, that sort of thing. It's it's more about the like the physical, could be mental, could be physical or mental for you or somebody else that was also a thing, but that's over or ending. And we're, we got this night, uh, sorry, King of Wands in that third, third position with the lion. But he's kind of like standing in your way going, okay, so I can take you and we can guard you. Look at how much protection you have here. You could, you could very much even though you're a water sign, you could really super relate with a with a lion. Um, but this is about kind of this guy being your. This could be somebody in real life that you that is coming through, or or somebody on the other side. This could be somebody that is both and recent. So this could be somebody who was here in the physical with you that, that was a more of a father figure, um, a brother, a mentor of some, some type, um, and maybe he's crossed over. Either way, he is with you is the message that's coming through. This could also represent, I'm feeling some Michael energy here, kind of big time, our Archangel Michael with this King of Wands. So he's really saying this would be me also. So either somebody that really would represent that kind of energy that you know, um, or new, he could be coming back again. So he could have left and maybe he's coming back. And that could even be you. So this could represent a couple of different things going on in your own particular world. <laughs> but in any event, What's happening here is this move, your decision to move in one way or another is going to or has triggered this type of energy um, and connection in one way or another to kind of re-engage or to activate to begin with. Um, here again, we're still moving, getting stuff situated. So on the go, on the move here, getting things situated, um, kind of unpacking, but 
this can also represent your trek through the dark night or just a period that is a little bit more more um, about solitude, about figuring some stuff out, about moving from one place to another. And that could be spiritually. It doesn't necessarily need to mean because um, this physical movement can initiate this inner spiritual movement. And the the bull here, or the ox, or whatever this is supposed to be, is um, you know they is representing that really intense support, a lot of protection through and guidance through this whole spiritual thing and movement. Knight of Wands in reverse, Six of Pentacles. A Hermit in reverse. So moving we had the hermit in the fire signs as well and it was in reverse again as well so and the way that i see this is like this let me show it to you right side up so the hermit but we're in reverse with the hermit. And the way that I see this is that this is just a spark of light within, um, maybe with the help of your inner child tapping in with that or a dip or a child that's incarnate, but that sparked it for you. Maybe you had a child or somebody close to you had a child maybe, or you just got in touch with your inner child. Maybe you did some kind of read a book or did a workshop or whatever. Um, started getting into your past or story or history. Ne and needless to say, in any event, we have this spark of, I am ready to, to move out of this contemplative state um, slowly. We're coming out of this because we're still the hermit, even though we're in reverse and here's the timeline, but we have to get there. So there's still a little bit of ways to go there. Our dreams are going to help us. So expect some. This is what's coming to me with this. Like, this is like you really thinking and, and, and in your meditative, in your meditative, nurturing, creative alchemical ways you're creating very intentionally in your wake state but then this is creating intentionally in your astral in your dream state but intentionally because he's intentional look at he's intentional about it he's not passive in his creational energies here he's very intentional so what you're going to do is probably feel into more, um, and this is also I'm hearing meditation, so astral meditation, leaving and going into higher dimensions, the seven representing the divine, our connection with the divine. So water signs, we have... Um, a real opportunity here to really get more in tune and in touch with our psychic sides, with our inner inner wisdom, and really travel, really travel to different places in our dream state, in our sleep state, and really get some awesome downloads. Have a lot of support, a lot. You see all these little lights here. 
on both sides. Um, so they're pointing that out. They're saying you have so many angelics with you, guiding you. And in your sleep state, in your astral state. And to spend, I'm hearing, if you can, nearly every night, go to sleep with some, go to sleep meditation to take you to connect with your guides. I have one on my podcast. As a matter of fact, it is episode 90, 91, I believe. It's connect with your spirit guides before you go to sleep. So not that you have to do that one every night. You can if you want, but do something that's going to connect you with your guides every night. That's what I'm hearing. With it. Okay. We have the four of wands. Four of Wands here. And again, moving towards this, having getting to the getting to the the party with the friends. And I I know you probably don't know them yet, not in the physical, or you haven't met yet. We're, we're like coming together. This feels like, actually, this feels like work in the astral. So for a while, it's going to be about working in this astral. Yeah, for sure. Working with Gaia, working with, um, working with Michael and the rest of the archangels and your, and your, um, uh, ancestors, animal spirits, you know, the whole shebang. If you're a star seed, that would mean that you are going to be definitely uh, reconnecting with those systems in which you are really um, connected to. And you're gonna be doing some work together in the astral. We're going to be working with sacred geometry. We're going to be working with um, with the elements here. We're going to be really balancing out the water with some fire energy. Of working with um, possibly training for more manifestation balance. Um. You could be the type of person that, or one of the incarnates that is in charge of, um, yeah, it, yeah, probably that that you're probably one of the people that's really guided to keep movement has been a thing for a, a bit. There's a good chance that, um. you're just you even may want to be on the go like live like in a van or a tiny house that you get to move around but because what i'm getting at here is that you're to you're to help activate or travel a lot could be travel or both to help activate the abundance matrix and and the um the crystals um embedded like the it's a crystal crystal and grid embedded in Gaia it was superseded by the material matrix but a couple of years ago it came online and in at the turn of from 1231 2018 to 11 2019 and it really came online it was a big big deal um that's kind of funny um anyway You may start getting really, really into um, acquiring more crystals, traveling, um, finding, exploring places outside for you to activate, really connect to, um, gathering more just things of nature and rocks and that kind of stuff, um, and meeting in the astral plane again with your guides and guardians, especially uh, really traveling to different 
um, back to different systems or, or being reconnected and downloading, remembering things. We have serious intense energy here with this ace of swords coming in, light codes, major light codes going, going back, really, really um, far back, deep into our um, past lives. So this is representing Akashic Records. And look at her, she's tuning in. She's opening up, again, spending time in astral. This is more like wake state. And this is more like dreams. You see, they're, they're like right above and, and below each other. So this is like, again, sleep, sleep state and wake state meditation is really, 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 really important, you guys. I cannot stress it enough. Very important. And if you do that, and when you do that, please know you're going to really help us all connect with our soul families, um, really bring in that abundance. Look at that. This is a card. This is a card that just is like so, so abundant, so happy, so blissful. Look at it. Like they're just, what, why would they change a thing kind of thing? Like there's, there's the little ones, there's family. Awesome. So to recap, movement on the outside, movement on the inside, meditation. Um, creative, I'm here, creative ideas coming in finally getting to the point of wanting to create, wanting to start writing again, publishing again, drawing, painting, sculpting, even gardening. We're going to get, there's a, there's a beautiful infinity symbol back here. So really tapping into our soul's creative potential. And, and our soul speaking to us here on the physical plane and just going here, ideas, 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 create, create, create. So that's going to be big. And the more that we do this meditation in our, in our wake state, the more that we, we go to bed intentionally wanting to connect to our, to our guides and our guardians, the better that's going to be for us. Um, now, see what, look at what we have on the bottom of the deck, the sun. Wow, the sun, we have a bonus card here, water signs, we're getting all sorts of bonuses here. Look at that, the sun after these pots. I love it. This is so, this is truly a, a card of like hallelujah, happiness. You know, it's paid off. Really, really awesome. Really, really awesome. And there's, it's not going to be that hard. Like the hardest parts are over. Just remember, continue working with those like Raphael and your, and your immediate angels. Okay. Um, really important to help through this. All right. Let's get into amplifying, clarifying with our wild unknown. Ace of Swords in reverse. Ooh. The world. Uh, Father of Pentacles, right side up, I'm hearing. Father of Pentacles, so King of Pentacles over the King of Wands. Whoa. 
Oh, and father again, I'm hearing right side up. Father of wands over our 10 of wands. Oh my gosh. This is truly awesome. No. Put that back and take the toughest one. We have the hero font. The hero font in reverse on top of the knight of wands in reverse. So continuing with that energy. Mother of Cups over our Six of Pentacles. Awesome. Awesome. Right under the Father of Pentacles, we have the Mother of Cups. We have the Empress over the Hermit. Oh, my goodness. What? What? This is really awesome. Ten of Cups over our Seven of Pentacles. Daughter of Cups under the Mother of Cups. Oh, oh boy. Two more, you guys. This is, this is fun. I'm very much enjoying it. <laughs> this is very cool. Awesome energy. Awesome energy, guys. Awesome, 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 awesome. Here we go. Three of Pentacles over our uh, Ace of Pentacles, or sorry, Ace of Swords is our Three of Pentacles. Sorry. And one more card to go over that 10 to amplify or clarify that 10 of Cups. is the two of wands in reverse. All righty, wow. Awesome. Really awesome here. Okay, let's get into it. Um, Ace of, Ace of Swords, this move either is or was the absolute right thing to do. Um, it's not settled in yet, but it will be. Again, just clarifying this really intense on both sides of the veil kind of from those that are really, really strong, your guides and guardians, archangels, angels. Um, I'm also feeling intense energy here with um, earth angels. So if you identify as an earth angel, um, your connection with your, your angelics, especially, so all of your connections with your spirit tribe is going to, you know, really start getting much more intense, really going to be sending a shit ton of creative energy. Like you've been kind of waiting, like I am creative and I want to, to do more creative stuff, but it just hasn't happened. So that's going to be coming in with this. Stargate, new moon, and the portal um, on, on the 22nd. Um, so this would be for everybody, but I'm just, this just giving me a lot of earth angel energy here and working with our divine counterparts. Those like, if you're an earth angel, then Michael is somebody that you're definitely going to be gravitating towards working with. There's that lion. He's good. He's, I know that he's not, not with that traditional sword, but don't let that fool you. He's got the light here. A sword can be anything. It doesn't have to be an actual sword. You know, 
Archangel Michael doesn't actually have a sword. It's just a metaphor for his strength and power and will to protect. So that can show up as anything, actually. Um, and he's like, but if you want, there's a sword. Um, again, just more of this stuff, your wisdom, this is kind of, this one's really representing kind of more of the, um, like maturity and being able to, to see things and know, yeah, like I have, I have protection. I can, I, I may not be able to see them, but I see them. Um, the hero font with the knight of swords. Uh, this is feeling like divine, maybe some divine feminine energy coming in. Uh, unlocking some. Yeah, really kind of unlocking some past, excuse me. There's gonna be some type of like big epiphany, I feel with this. Um, and I think it's gonna come like really quite sudden feels like. All right. The mother of cups over the six of pentacles here. Really, uh, really feels like nurturing what's going to be coming in really taking these ideas to a new level like she's pregnant with ideas kind of thing and we even have the empress here um who is often seen pregnant um and she is over our hermit so and we have a moon here so representing that new moon this empress energy uh, I feel like this empress and this hero font very much connected um, in, a, in a kind of roundabout way, kind of six degrees of separation kind of thing. Um, I feel like this is representing some type of Father, father, hero font. Hero font can be either kind of masculine or feminine, but it's feeling more feminine to me right now. And then mother, empress, father, mother, empress, father, hero font, daughter. Oh, God, thought, sorry. <laughs> mother of cups, daughter of cups. So again, what we said at the top here, this ace of swords really saying, yep, if you doubt doing it or, or, or should you have done it, should you have made this decision, this move, whatever, yes, the answer is yes. And the, the connections within that move that you're going to meet the people that are going to come in they're in this space too so they're still connecting to what they need to do and to get into their mode before it all comes together 
because look at what we have here, the three of pentacles, it all coming together. But right now it's coming together in the, it's in the astral because it's in reverse. See, this is right side up and it's in reverse. So it's in the astral plane still, still timelines getting figured out. So here are all the timelines that are going to take us to reuniting. And it just hasn't happened yet, but we need, it's like, we need another portal. We need to get into probably April before things start to even look like, like we just have a few more, like there's just layers here. So a couple more layers, but things are happening and coming through. Look at all of the energy. Um, over that ten of cups, right? That ten of cups really with this uh, four of wands. It almost looks like you could be looking down into a well, and it's starting to come up. Something like that. It's just a really interesting image or an eye. I like think it's just a really cool image, but it's like this is just representing more timelines more more dates to go through more portals more days of power ascension days like every 27th is a power ascension day um aside from whatever else may be going on so uh yeah awesome <laughs> this is really really cool fantastic uh energy here with with this whole theme of of this movement of growth and remember what what what's coming through really big here was about dream time and meditation time so that would be your big advice for the new moon schedule meditation make it a big part of your day go to sleep listening to meditations or at least listening to high vibe healing meditation meditative music that's going to take you into an astral calling your guides and guardians to you know protect you during your ascent into the astral in your sleep you want to keep up your shielding your your yeah keep up your shields And there, oh, we have this twice. It's just occurring to me now, you guys. Duh. We have ton of cups twice. Look at that. Or wait, how is this? I was like this. <laughs> I'm getting confused here. Yeah, that's how it works. So we do have 10 of cups here twice. Um, even if it's in, in a different position, it's showing up twice. I'm being told, please pay attention to that. This is just basically, this one is basically talking about the rest of the year, the 10 portals coming and things still there's so much to put into place on so many different levels um but it's all happening and the more that you do you know the intentional astral work the more you do the intentional meditative work the the better it's each and every one of these portals going to be because remember again we have this song Right? So, great, awesome, 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 awesome. Oh, there's one. Got one or two. There's one. And there's one. Perfect. First card out, 
balance spiritually and practically practically wait, balance spirituality and practicality i can read balance spirituality and practicality full moon in pisces so this is our new moon in aquarius we're getting this bound spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Or weren't you? Well, we got a bonus, you guys. We got a bonus. Believe in the impossible blue moon. There you go. This is really in alignment with all that astral work. Really feeling this with this uh, empress. And the Empress definitely believes in the Empress. She is all about bringing in magic into the world, creating magic, believe in the impossible. So allow yourself in your dream state, in your astral, in your meditative state to just go. Go and fly and do. Um, I'll be putting out more meditations. I'll be doing more live meditation kind of zoom calls i think in the future definitely following the guidance here to really really dig deep with our meditation so that's on the horizon if you want to join me in that and last but not least what do we have here step out of your comfort zone that's a that's really good advice so i'm also hearing that oh and then we have that bonus don't let pride get in your way. Don't be scared. Sometimes meditation can be scary. Sometimes we avoid that. I, especially in the beginning when you're still like trying to figure stuff out and you're a little scared of what it means. Sometimes you'll create obstacles for yourself when it comes to meditation. Um, you'll start allowing things in of to fear in meditation or about meditation it, it's just weird what will happen you'll avoid it and a lot of times that's just because you know how powerful it is you know that probably what you're going to find there is going to be pretty remarkable and you're right it is. <laughs> and the more you go there, the harder, the faster, the deeper, the, the more impossible and, 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 and miraculous and fantastical it is your, and your life is for sure. So believe in the impossible. Don't be afraid of what you're going to find on the other side, because it's just your illusions of your own fear of the responsibility of the being maybe overwhelmed with what it is to be you fully connected we all kind of go through that like can i handle this is this real um And we can avoid, you know, certain truths about ourselves because it's just, it, it would be too disruptive to our, to our lives. But you know what? Sometimes we, we really need to kind of disrupt things. And for those of you who haven't made these changes yet, moving, leaving groups, joining groups, changing jobs, um, taking that leap of faith, even, even starting your own business, especially the way life is now. But if everything is pointing to you and saying, yes, this is the idea. Yes, this was what you should do. Um, you know, do it. Don't, don't let fear or pride get in your way. Don't let ego get in your way. Um, and Accept what is coming and believe and balance, sorry, balance spirituality and practicality. That means make, make time, prioritize. Step out of your comfort zone. Go to places and do things and connect in ways that is different. 
and and work with people that you're being guided to that maybe you know a year ago you would be like but now it's like yeah this makes sense and if that's me great and if it's somebody else great but do something step out of your comfort zone change things up you know if it's if it's you normally go for a walk at two, go for a walk at 11. If you normally, you know, a certain thing every morning, eat a certain something different and um, go left instead of right. Just explore more, change things up. We need to change things up um, to experience life from different perspectives. If we're always doing the same thing, we're always going to see life from the same perspective. We cannot have that we cannot always be seeing life from the same perspective. Um, so it's about stepping out of our comfort zone, believing in the impossible, getting out of our own way so we can step into, you know, this amazing energy of just letting it come in and watch over us and, and being acceptant of it and just letting it, start to do its magic remember nothing is impossible all right guys that is the end here thank you so much for joining me i really appreciate it again visit my website for more a ton of information there that i put out and i hope you join me again please like share subscribe comment let me know if this um, resonates or how it resonates please share um here. I really appreciate it. Um, and join me in the other videos, the fire, the next one, the fire's done. Now this was the water we're going to get into earth next. And, um, I'll also be doing a companion meditation to go with these. So please, um, make that a part of what you do here. Remember meditation was such a big part of this reading and connecting with your guides. So, so please continue with that. I really, really highly recommend you join whatever meditations or events that I do or on my podcast. Um, so subscribe all the way around there and try to hit everything up, but you know, it's just, it's a really good idea to just subscribe to everything. All right, guys, infinite love and blessings. Don't forget the key is to create. I love you already and always live in love. Bye for now.